Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sitting on the floor of my bedroom right now. Um, just how it's gonna be. So, today's video is honestly just gonna be a bunch of hauls. Um, two actually. I have a clothing haul and a grocery haul. I know that sounds really weird, but honestly, they're my two favorite things to watch. So, like, thought I would put them together. So today I'm going to show you some stuff that I've recently got from Zaffle.com. They reached out to me, sent me these items, and I said yes because I was honestly just super curious to see what the quality was going to be like, what the website, what the whole experience was going to be like. And, and this isn't a website I would normally order off of, but I thought I would just give it a shot, see what it was like, so I could let you guys know because as you guys know, like I take my clothes and like shopping super seriously and I like to get high quality stuff that like looks and feels good. So I thought I would try it out because if there is a website out there that has super cute stuff for cheaper, I feel like it could be a really good option. So my final review on the whole thing is I've actually been wearing these pieces for a solid, I'd say like three weeks and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I wear almost one of these items basically every single day. I love them so, so much. Their website, although there's a lot of items and there's a lot of stuff to get through, there are some really, really cute, like super on-trend pieces on their website. And I have loved, loved, loved wearing all of these things. And every time that I wear something, someone always asks me where I got it, always asks me where it's from, and it's Zaffle. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So some of these pieces definitely worked for me and some of them did not. I will obviously tell you guys which ones worked, which ones didn't. Um, I'm gonna start with all the ones that did and start out with my favorites because that's the most exciting. My absolute favorite thing that I got is this little like double-breasted plaid blazer. It is so cute. I've worn it in so many Instagrams and I'm just obsessed with it. Like it is so, so good. It's just like the perfect like oversized plaid blazer. I love the color combo on it. I'm just obsessed with it. It's so good and I was actually really nervous about ordering this one because I wanted it in a large and they only had it in a medium. Now it is a little bit tight around my armpits, but like I said, I should have gotten a large. I think a large would have fit me more than comfortably. Um, the medium also fits me well as you can see in the photos. It's just a little bit more snug It's like this is definitely on par with like Zara 100% like I could easily find this at Zara, but not as easily because It's a pain in the butt to shop at Zara sometimes my next favorite thing that I got is this top right here I'm obsessed with it. You guys don't understand how many people ask me if this was Reformation or from Revolve every single time that I've worn it It's this really super thin green fabric with these little white flowers on it and it has this really cute like ruching detail all the way up the front. It just looks so cute every time. I'm obsessed with it. It's like the perfect little spring shirt. I'm gonna wear this honestly probably every day in spring. I just love it. It's so fun, it's so cute. It literally looks like Reformation, like it actually does. Then we get into the sweaters. So this is the first sweater that I got. This is a super, super cute little green ribbed cropped sweater. This looks so cute with a plethora of things. I've worn this again on my Instagram many times so far. It's a little bit of a mock turtle. Also got this in a large. And also the fabric's actually really, really thick and really nice, but not too thick where like I'm sweating by the time I get to work because that happens to me a lot in the winter. It's very comfortable. I was so shocked at the quality of these fabrics. Like a lot of them are super soft, like feel really great. Really nothing bad I can say about this sweater. It fits really, really well. Um, and also I will have all the items I'm talking about linked down below, the exact links to them, so yeah. Next thing that I got is this really cute little ruched sweater. Um, here it is. It's this really nice taupe color, has some ruffles at the tops, has some ruffles up by the neck and also here by the sleeves. This is more of like an open knit as opposed to like that ribbed sweater before. Also really, really like this one. Um, I just wanted to give it a try, seemed really cute. It's not like 100% my style, but I definitely really like it. Um, I kind of just wanted to like try something different, but like I haven't worn it so much just cause it's not like 100% something I would wear all the time. But it, I have worn it once and it is really cute and really comfortable. 
and it's exactly what I thought it would be. Okay, I've been wearing this a ton. I wore this in my video with Alexandra, except for that I looked like crap in that video and didn't give this little sweater justice, but it's very cute. It's honestly like a thermal t-shirt material and it is so soft and comfortable. This really blew me out of the water with how soft it is. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Camel cardigan with these bell sleeves and it's cropped and it is so cute. This is a great transitional sweater. I've also worn this like a bar before and it's just been super casual and really cute. Again, gives me a little bit of Reformation vibes. So yeah, this I also believe I got in a large. Then we are moving on to the black denim jacket. This I got in a large and it is so big. I literally should have gotten it in a small. It is so, so big. It literally is like this huge oversized black denim jacket. And at first I was a little bit like, oh my God, shoot, I can't wear that, like it's too big. But then I just realized like how to style it and how to make it look cute and now I can't stop wearing it. So even though I do wish I got it in a smaller size, I'm still really happy with this. It's literally just a black distressed denim jacket. Good denim, let me put it on for you. Gives a really like cool look to an outfit. As you can see, I've worn it in my daily life and I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so now onto the things that didn't work for me, which were the swimsuits. Basically, this swimsuit, I literally can't even show it to you because it's like a wraparound situation, um, is this really pretty red swimsuit. It like wraps around, goes around your waist. I can't show it to you, but here it is. Way too small on my boobs, and I got a large, so this just didn't work for me. I actually got, I picked out this bathing suit simply because it was a full, full underwear bottom and not like a cheeky or like a thong style. Also got this in a large and these were a little bit tight on me, just saying. Then I just got a black bandeau situation swimsuit. This top might actually work for me but I do have to take out the pads. It comes with like these super thick pads. But it's just like a plain black bandeau swimsuit has really nice like underwire at the sides so it's not just like a cheap little bandeau it definitely has some structure then we have the bottoms which are like kind of higher waisted but super cheeky literally a thong so these did not work for me only because I'm not comfortable showing that part of my body but if that's something that you like love to rock then I think Zappo would be a really good choice for you because they are super inexpensive and a lot of the bathing suits do have this like high rise cheeky style so I would not write off Zappo at all it is really a good resource I think and I wear these pieces all the time and every time I wear them people ask me where I got them I'm really happy that I like ordered from them and could share it with you guys because I do really like all the stuff um, yeah, and I've been wearing it and you guys have been asking me where it's from. So that is it for my clothing haul. I'm now going to go to the grocery store and I'll be back to show you what I get at the grocery store. And we're back. Hey, I'm Nick Jonas. So today I went to Whole Foods 365, which is like the cheaper version of Whole Foods. I think they only have a few locations of them. I'm honestly unsure. But I went for the very first time instead of going to Trader Joe's because this is closer to my apartment. They had like every single item, not only that I've been wanting to try, but stuff that I know and love. And it was all a little bit cheaper. Their produce was also definitely a little bit cheaper than normal Whole Foods slash probably better than Trader Joe's because I'm not a huge fan of Trader Joe's produce. Um, I'm just remembering now that I forgot popcorn, which I'm so pissed about because popcorn is like honestly a category of food in its own in my diet. I eat popcorn all the time. So let's get started with eggs. I got, um, I got a dozen brown eggs, dish soap, citrus scented because who wants dirty dishes? Not me. I got the Siete grain free tortilla chips in the flavor Fuego. Um, I've never seen this flavor before and it was also buy two for six dollars with the ranch flavor, which I feel is gonna taste exactly like Doritos. So these were two for six, got them both, both new flavors that I've never tried before. Super excited about it, um, cannot wait to try these. Two of my favorite crackers, which are these Simple Mills crackers. I got two new flavors again that I haven't tried before. Sun-dried tomato and basil almond flour crackers and jalapeno sprouted seed crackers. Simple Mills is my favorite. I'm obsessed with them. Carrots, 
butternut squash, purple cabbage, kale, zucchini, Ezekiel bread. Okay, another exciting find, paleo puffs. I've been wanting to try these for so long. I'm so excited that they have them in my store. I got the Himalayan salt and apple cider vinegar flavor because I'm a huge salt and vinegar fanatic. It's my favorite flavor of anything, so I'm excited to try these. I got this pho broth, which seems extremely interesting. It was on sale. Got it, I'm gonna make it with this. I got ground rice noodles, so I'm gonna do the pho broth and the brown rice noodles. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be my own homemade pho, and I'm so excited about it. So I got those two. The Siete cashew flour tortillas. Excited to try these. I've tried the almond flour ones before. I didn't love them, but these ones seem a little bit more like flexible and easy to wrap. The almond flour ones kind of like broke, so I'm excited to try those. Or maybe it was the cassava flour ones that I tried. Either way, I didn't love those, but these ones seem good. Also got the Siete Cashew Queso and Spicy Blanco. Um, I'm really excited to try this as well. All dairy free. It's literally two carbs. I'm really excited about it. Paleo, vegan, dairy free, gluten free, vegan, all that good stuff. Grapes, Granny Smith apples, my favorite. Chicken, turkey burgers. I got two packs of the microwavable brown rice coffee, peanut butter. Then I got these, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna do them every morning, but I got them because they were $2. These Good Belly Probiotic Straight Shot, dairy-free probiotic shot, no sugar added. You guys know how I feel about probiotics and gut health. Like these are my favorite buzzwords in the whole world. So yeah, it's basically just like this little shot that you take every morning and it has all this good probiotic stuff in it for you. So it's a probiotic oat drink. I've literally never tried it before, but it looked fun and it was on sale. So I got it. And then the last thing that I got, I got so much random shit. I got the Dia Cream Cheese Style Spread in plain because I'm trying to live that dairy-free, gluten-free, paleo life. And this seemed like something fun to try. So I got it and I thought it would be good with like my bread in the morning have a nice bagel-esque situation. That is my grocery haul. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, so yeah. Okay, now that I'm surrounded by groceries, I gotta go put this stuff away. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. I love you guys so much and I will see you in a few days.